Ow. Die by electricity, please. Thank you. But, yeah, I really, really enjoy this particular quest. Mainly because, um... Excuse me, it's connected with a, uh, another... It's connected with the previous game, actually. I see. You said this cemetery would be loads of fun, and now it's obvious you were talking bollocks. Perhaps you'd like it back with Mum. Anyway, how was I to know a cemetery would have no ghosts in it? You know what we need? The book. Sam? That's brilliant! The book! Go get it! I'm not getting it. Trundle all the way back there, just to have to face her. I'd rather die. Again. I wish you would. Again. Oh, very mature. Maturity is exactly the problem. Everyone here is well past their use-by date. That's why we need the book. The only thing worse than the walking dead is the lying around not doing anything interesting dead. And that book owes us after the last two disasters. Third time lucky, eh? That's right. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's not like I could get trapped down a well this time. Well, I'm not getting it. Have Livy here get it. Who? Oh, right. Uh, what about it? We'd really be ever so grateful. This is no ordinary book. It's the Normanomicon. It can summon the dead. Well, that makes it sound so insidious. We don't want to do anything diabolical with the dead. We just want someone to have a chat with. I can't believe you. Why couldn't you have thought of the book before we left? Yeah, well, at least I thought of something, which is more than you've done. I had the idea to come here in the first place. Yeah, and look how well that's worked out. Yeah, you said that already. So unless you have something interesting to say, which I doubt, why don't you shut up? Shouting so much! He's going to think we're evil ghosts, and we're not! Well, what good does it do to say that? If we were evil ghosts, we wouldn't admit it anyway, so that we could more easily do our evil. Look, you might not want to stand there and listen to all this. We'll probably just be saying the same thing over and over again. I can't believe you. Why couldn't you have thought of the book before we left? Yeah, well, at least I thought of something, which is more than you've done. I had the idea to come here in the first place. Yeah, and look how ah, well that's genius. worked out. Problem solved. Now, the thing is, the book is in Millfields. Our mum's got it. She always said she'd take it to her grave. Which she did. You'll have that book over my dead body, she used to say. Which was eerily prescient. So all you have to do is dig it up. Yay! Sounds like fun. Sounds good. Yeah. We can warp there, or we can hoof it. Yeah, where, I, I where, don't remember where the... We, uh, where are we going? Millfield. Is there a book over here? I'm gonna go check. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's actually uh, more stuff from Ben. I shall in time expand on the many strange and incredible escapades that occupied me during the following years. For now, I will simply remark that I hunted hidden treasures and set on dangerous quests in the very same manner that the heroes of legends once did. In short, I exhausted almost every legitimate means by which a young man may experience life at its fullest. It must have been this exhaustion, coupled no doubt with the fact that I could never quite shake off my involvement, accidental or otherwise, with criminal behaviour, that led me in the end to run with a band of smugglers operating out of Barristone Port. After a few weeks of contrabanding, it was inevitable that I would wash up in the capital of such activities, Bloodstone. Its uncouth nature, colourful characters and almost daily barroom fistfights fed a rather unhealthy and until then quite hidden appetite for the pleasures only the lowest of societies can provide. I blush to recall those days of drinking, gambling, and indulging in other unsavory pastimes. I blush even harder as I bring to mind the succession of strong-willed and even stronger-thighed women I fell in love with. My only excuse is that such lack of restraint was latent in my blood. And while I had not followed my brother's example while they lived, I celebrated their memories by following it now. 
Huh. What an adventurous young lad. There's plenty of that actually around the game. Hey. What? Hey, Squee. What? 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 Someone get me. Oh. <laughs> oh dig spot. Shit. I don't care about your dig spot. What? F your dig spot. Dig spot! <laughs> this is one of the more um, annoying to find silver keys because you don't exactly immediately know that you can jump the fence. And there's like nothing else up here really. Dig spot! <laughs> I don't care about your dig spot. <laughs> but it's a spot! You can dig in! I, what, what'd you find? Oh, I didn't really find the dig spot. <laughs> Just saw that there was one there. Oh, it must have been my dog going, Hey, there's a level 2 dig spot. Somewhere. Oh, oh, jump. There you go. <laughs> my jump was more graceful. Probably, yeah. Ooh, here's the graveyard. Kind of a uh, morning time. Oh man, where is it, boy? Dig spot. Dig spot. Bam. Here lies Elizabeth Spade at peace. Addendum: Now her sons have joined her. The above inscription is no longer accurate. <laughs> <laughs> The ancient tome emits a cold aura and appears to be bound in human skin. You can see the freckles found within our dark in uh, incantation. Uh, and evil writes, the Ruob stew recipe on the final page sounds particularly malicious. Mm -hmm. Nice. No, oh, well now it's night time. Hi. Watch out for... Oh, nicely done. Mind the roses. They were just watered. Oh, you can really club at that, Sano. I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Is that the freaking giant saying that? I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? No. I'm a wizard, not you. She's very complimentary. Yeah. She Which makes might me actually feel mean something different than what we initially thought. He's standing on a book. Spectacular! Oh, okay. Oh, God. Whoa, oh, jeez!
Oh god. Oh god. Stop hitting me, please. <laughs> These guys are not getting stunned by this anymore. Nope. No. Oh, time to actually use other things. Not fair! Not fair! Oh. Nicely done. Well, you sorted out those hollow men with no trouble at all. Perhaps you should keep that book. With your skills, it will be safer with you than in my grave. And it's a bit uncomfortable, frankly. Well, I suppose I'll get back in then. If you see my sons, tell them they'd better be back here by supper if they know what's good for them. <coughs> Tree treasure? Maybe it's telling us about the book that's in there? Because there is a book here. Oh my gosh, it's telling you about the book. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. Here lies Max Spade. I had it all under control. Then Sam cocked it up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Captain Jonas Wadden was unkind to his liver, fell into the river. I love these things. Stefan Person, trapped on the wire, dead for sure. <laughs> Here lies Sam Spade. It's all Max's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Spending all the years of your young life on a small farm in a backwater county has made you restless. Who knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure. But once ignited, the flames of wonderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms. And perhaps considering a career in excavation. Your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. And so now you stand at a crossroads. It's a nice one, with newly painted signs and a bench. If you want to head east towards the ominous ruin, turn to page two. To go west, towards the ancient forest, turn to page four. To head north, towards the snow-covered mountains, turn to page 156. If you want to go south, which is back home, read this page again. <laughs> it's a choose-your-own-adventure book. Yes. Nice. <laughs> but you don't actually get to choose. No. Boo. Run. This way, zoo. Why'd you go the other? The, the golden line tried to trick me. <laughs> it took it like it was going one direction, and then took just a hard right for some reason, <laughs> instead of just going the direction it needed to. What should we do? Be bold. We'll just open to a random page and do whatever it says. What if the page we open to is just the continuation of the previous page? All right. If that happens, we'll flip back until we find the beginning of the section. But we'll do it boldly. This is starting to sound like a great idea. Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Which was early, and which we drove her to? <sighs> We've got it! Now, let's see what's in here. Ghost pantry. Must be where the snacks are kept. Ghost pants. That sounds interesting. Yeah, maybe a bit too interesting, at least to start with. Uh, what else? Ghost party! Brilliant! Right, let's have that then. Now then, <clears throat> Necrus Rhysius Cordroy! Everyone's so happy. You have just helped, helped the deceased door obtain the Normanonicon. Possibly not one of your better judgment calls. What? No, nonsense. <laughs> this game doesn't know what it's talking about. Look at this. It's full of happy people. Hey! This is fantastic! Thank you! Uh, 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 I want to dance too. So this is kind of like light beer? Or... <laughs> So what's so bad about this? This is cool. 
one of my bet not one of my better decisions. I reckon this is the wildest party I've ever been to. <laughs> Although you could count the parties I've been to on one hand, and that hand would have four of its fingers cut off. Uh, so, what did you die of then, love? This is an awesome idea. This game doesn't know what it's talking about. <laughs> I'm awesome. Another quest? Yes.